Go. Okay. Uh, today we are going to square a piece of plywood. Before you start making cabinets, you have to make sure that you are starting from a square part. The plywood that you buy from the store is never perfect. So, the only way to square a big piece of plywood, believe it or not, is this is smart. Why? I'll show you why. Let's, let's make sure that our square, you see how I install it, I just tight this, not too much, just light. Okay, I'm bringing this here, and I slide it. I'm making one mark, right here. Let me, this one is the one, okay? Now, I'm removing the square from here. go the other way. Why? This is the easiest and the best way. You can see I don't tie too much again. The easiest and the best way to make sure that your system is perfect. Now I'm going from the other way and this line is supposed to line up perfect. Let me blow some dust out. As you can see the line is perfect, so my square is square, the system is perfect. Now, another thing, when I'm cutting, I need to hold the square here. To find a better way, and I'm going to use this handle. That makes the whole difference, because now I have more control. Like this. This is sliding. You can slide it left and right. Okay. Slide it. Goes right in again. I'm right handed, so I'm using my square on the left side. If I was a left handed, my square is reversible. You can start from here. Now, as you can see, this handle eliminates the need for clamping because that don't move. I mean, nothing moves ever because the handle applies pressure. It's like a clamp, basically. Okay? Clamp that you don't have to clamp. What we need to do is just hold it. And can you see here how you apply the pressure on the plywood? So that means everything stays perfect level. Okay, right now I'm going to do a trimming cut, a square in cut. It is 4 by 8 piece of plywood. With a nice music in the background. I hate that music. Okay, so push the square with a guide against the edge. I hate that music. Come to the end. Okay, and you can trim the plywood. As you can see, I'm not applying side pressure or left or right, I'm just cutting straight. So I'm halfway done, I come over that way, easy. Now I continue my cut. Uh, imagine trying to do that with a table saw. Now, let's make another cut here. This is another, you need to do a second cut right here. That's another square cut. Okay. Let's make one more. You see all the control that I have? Uh, the, the saw always stays on the guide. I don't have to lift the saw anymore. So I'm doing one more cut. So I can check all the dimensions and see how good the system works. Okay. So we have no clamping, no double checking, nothing. Let's try. What do you think, Frank? 
how close it is. Let's see. From this corner here to this corner is 52 inches. Okay. Hit the whole thing. There is no magic here. Now from this corner to this corner is exact. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. 52 inches. So the cut is perfect. And uh, this is because the square self aligns itself to the guide rail. Let's take a close look over here. You see how the whole thing moves? Okay? When you tie this lightly, it actually moves. Can you see it moving? It moves and self aligns. Perfect. Thank you.